So any ideas for this project? Um, flying cars. Well, uh, what about spaceships? That would be just ridiculous. No, it wouldn't. Sure. How do you think aliens would get around? What about like uh, solar powered cars or the hyperloop or something like that? That'd be a good idea. It's the hyperloop. So, any ideas from you, Ella? No. Nothing. Okay. Well, I was doing a project on transport in 2030, and all of a sudden I'm here. It's 2030 now, you know. No, it's 2013. Oh, oh, oh I think I know what's going on. Hey, come with me. Let me just get the car. Have a little look around, shall we? So what else has technology given us in regards to transport? Well, I have a couple of photos here. This is a solar power boat. It can take you across the Atlantic within two hours. Very fast and very good with uh, bad weather. This thing here, it's a little compact uh, outdoors uh, motorcycle. They're very popular in cities because, you know, it's so compact there. These yokes here, they're in little pods that take you from place to place. They're um, the one in Dublin, and that goes from the airport to the city centre. These girls here, they're using their phones to see exactly when the bus is arriving. The bus coming. One minute and 47 seconds. So what about trains? They're faster, more frequent, they're more environmentally friendly, they're really good, and, and... Oh, there's even one there now, really, look. What was that? Oh, it's just the toll. The system is much more convenient now. You're even able to pay on your phone and everything. How do the cars charge themselves? Well, the ESP parking lanes, they do all the free. Watch out! Pretty cool, huh? Wow, it looks like technology is making everyone's transport easier. It is. It really does help, but, um... I think it is probably time for you to go back to class now. I've learned so much today, but how is everyone going to believe me? Well... This should do. Alva! Alva! Any ideas? Actually, I have a few here. 